Okay, it's Wednesday, June 8th. I'm back here at a home permission that I had really good luck with at the uh, end of April. Um, this is the place where I had a three barber spill live dig. I also picked up three rings, an Indian scent, um, about 30 wheat scents, and uh, second hole here tonight, revisiting this place, I think I have another ring. Unless this is just some kind of uh, fitting or something. I have to go home and clean this up. I forgot my spray today. Maybe the fourth ring I got out of this, this yard. Anyhow, we're going to see if I missed anything back there in April. Um, and if you want to go back and check out that movie of this house, it was uh, episode number 49. Let's keep digging. Okay, second good find here. It looks like a bus token. Very cool. Like finding those. All right, so I just now dug a second different bus token. Here it is next to the other one that I had dug a few minutes ago. Two different varieties. Very cool. Let's keep them coming. Only been here a few minutes. just hit silver. This is number 15 on the year. The rosy. I already looked at it. Nineteen fifty-three. Rosy dime. Sweet. Alright, I just dug some kind of uh, shield and wings. It's broken. It a, was a pin. Have to investigate to see what that was. Just picked up a little button. Not too old, I don't think. Not sure what the design is yet, haven't made it out. Alright, the target that I was digging here turned out to be garbage, but I did pick up a nice marble. Always like finding those. Sweet. All right, I gotta get out of here. It's starting to get dark, but probably my last hole of the day. Very cool little airplane. Nice find. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to live dig this one. It's uh, ringing in 85 on the AT Pro. I'm out here in a big field today, uh, low trash amount, so I put the Nell Storm on. The first uh, target I dug today was a wheat penny, so there's old stuff here. Let's see what this is. It's a clad quarter. That's it. Okay, I'm still out here in the field. I've been here for like an hour. I immediately dug three wheat pennies and thought this was an incredible spot. And for like the next hour, I dug uh, just clad. And uh, until right now, there's something in the hole here I haven't extracted yet. I just pushed the dirt away and I see a silver rim. So we're going to go in and find out what this is together. And it's bigger than a dime. You know what? <laughs> it's not silver. And it's, uh, it's one of those tokens. It looked like a silver rim. And it's a Sunoco antique car token. It's the uh, Dodge Sedan, 1916, and I believe these tokens were made around uh, 68 for uh, the Shell Antique Car Series. Well, it, it's something different. It's not so. It's not the big silver quarter that I was thought I was about to pull out, but something unusual and different. Another token. I like tokens. Let's keep digging. Okay, uh, that Sunoco token was the last thing I dug, and uh, I'm getting ready to head out. I've been here for over an hour, and I just came upon the very next hole after that token. I didn't dig a hole yet, but this is probably my mo one of my most promising uh, signals of the day. It's like an 84, and I'm, th I'm thinking silver dime. I'm hoping silver dime, and get a piece of silver to hit the road with. And just like the last thing I dug on the live dig, clad quarter. And looks like a 67. The modern quarter. Or it could be a piece of silver. This is a higher signal than I think to 87.
Just another, oh, it's a bicentennial quarter. All right, I stopped attempting live digs. Uh, did a couple last ditch effort holes on the way to my car here. And I think I did now just get a silver. I don't think this one's a false alarm. Oh yeah, especially since it's a Mercury, no doubt. 1930 Merc. And looks like there's a mint mark. I'm not sure, might be a D. Mercury Dime, got one for the road, sweet.